All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, good morning, everybody. This is Beatrice Mercado. I'm calling you. I'm calling in from Los Angeles, California. And I first want to say thank you to all the advisors joining us today. I know we're back to school this fall, and many of you are um, managing many tasks at hand, whether it's you know going forward with your travel business, uh, taking care of your kids at home, and just re really just managing all aspects of life. Um, our goal today is really to give you a live virtual tour of Viceroy Snowmass, um, one of our amazing resorts that has, has been open since June, uh, located just close to Aspen. So we do have a few people on hand to give each of you a personal live tour of the resort. Um, our objective is to give you really confidence in selling the property, promoting the property, but most importantly, to really meet the team. Uh, so you have a personal connection. Myself, Maggie from my team have um, all hands on deck to make sure that all of your clients that you book have an excellent stay. And hopefully in the next 15, 20 minutes or so, uh, you'll have a real great overview of Viceroy Snowmass. Um, and as always, we're opening it up for the chat box if you do have any questions um, that you'd like to submit. I'm gonna turn it over to Maggie to share some housekeeping notes. Okay, um, you all should be on mute just so we can avoid any background noise and we can um, hear what um, the presenters are saying. But if you do, as B mentioned, we do have a chat box. So send questions in and then at the conclusion, I'll, I'll read them out to Pam and her team one by one so we can try and answer as many as possible. So um, don't worry, we will answer them offline if we don't get to them. Um, with all that, I'm gonna turn off my screen and turn it over to Pam. Pam, would you like to introduce your team? Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Pam Smith. I'm the Director of Leisure Sales for Viceroy Snowmass here in beautiful Colorado. And we are delighted to have you with us this morning. Um, gosh, how, how has business changed? Here we are doing a virtual site tour. Um, and this is pretty cool. We're super excited and working on our um, you know, our uh, different ways to get information across the lines to you. But um, I would like to introduce my team. Um, first, Robert Purdy, who is our general manager. Robert's gonna say a few words here in just a minute. Um, and he will be at our Portica Share. Um, John Quigley, um, he is our director of sales and marketing, and he's going to be my eyes while I uh, walk you through several areas of the property. Um, just introduce myself to you, Shelly Maddox, who maybe some of you have already worked with. She's our reservations manager, and she is taking on a couple of different areas of the property this morning for the tour. And finally, Haynes Donnelly. Haynes is our sales and marketing coordinator, and it's really fun to engage different people from different areas of the hotel not only so that they can see what sales does every day, but also um, to engage with you. And then this way you have uh, a few people on property that you can reach out to. Um, I'd like to start out with um, an aerial view of um, our Aspen Snowmass area. We are located in Pitkin County, Colorado. Um, and to the right, you will see the town of Aspen down at the bottom left. Um, we are only a 10 to 12 minute drive from the town of Aspen. I'm sure many of you have heard of Aspen with uh, the glitz and the glamour and the shopping and the dining. Well, we are very, very close to all of that. Um, we are part of the Icon lift ticket, which means you can ski Aspen Mountain, Highlands, buttermilk and snow mass all on the same lift ticket. So keep that in mind as um, you know you start to sell ski this winter and hopefully you're already starting to get some um, some requests for ski. Um, in addition, we are about four miles from the Aspen Airport. So we're the closest resort um, to the Aspen Airport. And um, in a minute, I will show you the vehicles we use to pick up and uh, return your guests back to the airport. It is complimentary. Um, we are participating in COVID preparedness, even when it comes to picking up guests. So what that means is we uh, will pick up families who are traveling together in one vehicle 
Um, so we are not picking up masses of people at one time. We are respecting the social distancing um, initiative. And so um, if you have anyone flying into our destination, please let myself or concierge know if they need a shuttle to and from, we'll get them on the books and we'll make sure that they're the only family in that vehicle upon pickup and then return back to the airport. So um, joining me now is Haynes Donnelly. Um, Haynes is, uh, as I mentioned, our sales and marketing coordinator. Good morning, Haynes. And Haynes is gonna show us a panoramic view of the property um, from actually the um, uh, entrance to the Viceroy. So this is what we look like today. And um, we are only a short distance from the new base village. So when you first pull in, um, this is what you see. So now we're going to walk you right into the Viceroy driveway. And it is a stunning day in Snowmass today. Um, last week we had 12 inches of snow. Today we're back to fall. So loving this Colorado weather. Um, to the left, you will see as Haynes approaches the building, um, to the left, you will see the parking garages. I, I felt it was important to kind of point out where parking is located because a lot of our comp set has parking, but it's off property. Our parking is on property. It is valet parking. However, our guests, your clients have the opportunity to either park their own car or have us park it for them due to COVID. But this is the entrance and the exit so that they have really easy access to their vehicle during their time in snow mass. So here we are again, and uh, Haynes is um, doing the panoramic of the drive through. You can see all the greenery. We do have some leaves that are changing, so fall is definitely um, coming in. And um, as I said that, don't forget the fall viewing, the fall leaf viewing is spectacular up here. So September, October, just a great time of year to be up here. Now Haynes is gonna show us um, the Port of Cachere area where my general manager, Robert Purdy, would like to say a few words. Um, well, he's walking in that direction. Here we have all the vehicles that we use. We have um, vans. Uh, to pick up at the airport and return, as well as um, uh, Cadillac SUVs that we use. Um, so either option is fantastic. And um, just know that we are prepared to drive your clients uh, to and from the airport. Um, we will also take them into Aspen. There is a nominal fee involved um, and it does require a reservation. So here we go, port a -Cachere. and we're getting close. I know, drum roll, right? Um, getting close to um, the entrance. So here's the entrance. This is where our Bell staff await to greet clients, whether they're coming in via shuttle or private car. And you can see we are busy today. Uh, we opened the property June 19th, and we have not looked back. We have been busy. Um, with occupancies anywhere between uh, 40 and 57% over the summer. So now I'm going to pass it along to Shelly, who is going to do the videotaping for Robert. So thank you. For allowing us the opportunity today to showcase our incredible, incredible resort. This is truly my favorite time of year. Uh, the aspens are changing colors, cool nights, beautiful temperatures during the day. This weekend, we're fortunate enough to have two beautiful weddings and uh, occupancies above 90% this weekend, which I'm just thrilled. Uh, I just want to say thank you for the business that you have sent us in the past. Thank you for the business you're going to send us in the future. I can't think of a better destination than Snowmass, a social distance on 3,500 acres of slope to where it just makes it uh, social distancing very, very easy. We've taken many precautions here at the property. 
that you'll see to make this just a very safe place to go. Thank you again and enjoy your tour. And now I'd like to introduce I'd like to introduce John Quigley, who is our Director of Sales and Marketing. Good morning, John. John is going to be my eyes and ears as uh, we uh, <laughs> walk through the lobby area. <clears throat> okay, uh, welcome to Viceroy. We're walking into the lobby now. I'll pan the lobby for a moment, Pam, and you can chat. Okay. Um, you can see we have signage up regarding social distancing. Going over to the front desk. John, could you um, flip your camera? Say that again? Would you mind flipping your camera so we can see what you're seeing? What am I doing wrong? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> We're going up to see Ryan at the front desk. As you can see, we have signage for social distancing. And here's our front office manager, Ryan, with a plexiglass uh, greeting. I'm gonna go to the side a little bit so we can hear Ryan. Hello, travel professionals. Thank you for sending business this way. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Ryan's gearing up. We have a weekend. Uh, this weekend, we're anticipating 87% uh, occupancy uh, starting on uh, Friday through the weekend. We're fortunate to have a, a, a wedding here and uh, a lot of uh, individual travelers. I'm panning over to our breakfast area, Cafe V. And this is open in uh, starting at uh, 6.30 and we serve uh, specialty coffees, uh, breakfast pastries, uh, lunch sandwiches uh, by our pastry and culinary department and John, uh, wonderful John, specialty coffees. John, I'm sorry coffees. to inter interrupt you. Your video went down. There you go. Okay, there you go. Thank you. We are indeed live. Yeah. Sorry. Is that better? Yes. Do you have any comments, Pam? I do. Um, I don't think they could see um, Cafe V. And so, um, as John indicated, he, this is where uh, stock sandwiches, fresh pastries daily, a wonderful opportunity for skiers and boarders to pack up their backpacks in the morning and head out on the hill. Um, also specialty coffees and we find that around 3.30, 4 o'clock when the lifts close, um, this becomes a very, very busy little spot with specialty coffees just to warm up and hot cocos. So this has really served us well and we get great comments on having this little grab and go in the lobby. So here we have, um, John's going to walk us to the concierge desk. And again, um, keeping with the COVID-19 preparedness plan, uh, plexiglass um, at the concierge uh, desks. And here we have two of our favorite concierge. And um, they are available to help you book uh, on, on mountain activity as well as off um, property activity restaurant reservations, and I'd just like to remind everyone that Aspen Snowmass uh, books up very quickly. So if you have anybody that is interested in reservations in the Aspen Snowmass um, area, please let us know. We'd love to get them on the books early because these restaurants do sell out. So um, just a, an insider tip there. So here we are walking into um, our three, um, uh, three meal a day restaurant. This is Toro Kitchen and Grill 
It is fantastic. It uh, serves Pan American style food. Um, breakfasts are amazing. And I just have to say the quinoa pancakes are delicious. So um, yes, I've had them a few times. Uh, so walk again, um, we remove the bar stools to um, again, uh, respect the social distancing guidelines, but this is a gorgeous bar area. You can imagine how busy it gets, you know, in a typical winter. Um, and um, this is an open concept restaurant where you can actually see the chefs uh, preparing your meal, which is really, really cool. Um, a fantastic wine selection. Um, cannot say enough about just the ambiance, the vibe in this restaurant, uh, the staff. And if you choose to wait a few minutes before you're um, sitting at your table, we have a fantastic little lounge area with um, comfy sofas, a fireplace, um, just a really neat little gathering spot for a little apres ski before dinner. Um, John is going to walk us um, outdoors, um, but while he does that, we can see, you can see um, how we have done the social distancing with the tables. We removed quite a few tables to adhere to the guidelines. Um, but everybody that has been with us this summer has nothing but great things to say about how we have uh, managed this, these uh, unprecedented times. So um, guests can sit outside and these tables are also um, six feet apart for social distancing, but take a look at these views. Oh my goodness, imagine you know, enjoying a, a hot cup of coffee or a mimosa for breakfast, sitting out on this patio. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Um, or just, you know, um, enjoying lunch out here. Whatever, you know, it is, the um, panoramic views are spectacular. Here we have some fireplaces as well that um, we do tend to turn on during the evening hours. So just nice little nook spaces for uh, families or couples to enjoy and snuggle, if you will. Um, here we have uh, more dining options as well as private dining space. Now, I need to tell you that what we've seen this summer is a lot of families traveling together and really wanting to create memories together. These private dining spaces are awesome because you can close them off and you can celebrate a birthday, an anniversary, and all of that in the privacy of your own room. Um, this is that um, open kitchen concept that I mentioned a few minutes ago and uh, chefs are working in here this morning. Um, so again, this is Toro. Now, one last thing about Toro is this is where your clients dine for breakfast, utilizing their luxury amenities. So they will get a uh, daily breakfast for two per bedroom, not per booking, per bedroom. So we do it a little bit differently, like, you know, a lot of properties will only give you two breakfasts per booking, we give it per bedroom. So it's really a tremendous value for your client um, to dine here at Toro each morning. Um, also, uh, new for next year is going to be um, the resort uh, credit. We've always offered a $100 spa credit per booking. Now we are offering a $100 resort credit per booking. We feel that this flexibility is more in alignment with the COVID restrictions. Not everybody wants to go um, get a spa treatment. A lot of people do, but some don't. Um, so that credit can be used on the food and beverage side as well. So thank you, John. I will see you at, a, at the uh, uh, two bedroom that we're gonna show this morning. And now on to Shelly. Shelly's joining us at the fitness center. Hi everyone. So this is our fitness center. 
with the COVID restrictions, um, we are um, offering um, access to the fitness center, but it is by appointment. As everybody knows, fitness centers, gyms are operating a little bit differently now. So we are as well. You can book um, uh, up to a two hour time slot um, in the gym. And it really um, uh, is uh, one person at a time. So um, in keeping with those um, restrictions, but this gym offers everything from uh, wonderful Pilates equipment to um, weights to medicine balls. You can stretch in here um, as well. We have yoga mats and again, beautiful views while you're working out. You'd be surprised how many of our guests work out in the gym in the winter and ski and snowboard. So it, this uh, facility is widely used. We do supply fresh water with um, either lemons or cucumbers for that uh, spa touch, as well as a basket of fresh fruit. Um, clean towels um, available and everything is refreshed throughout the day. So now Shelly is going to walk us to our outdoor restaurant and our swimming pools called Nest. And um, on the way to Nest, I want to point out that we have on property four mountain sports. Four Mountain Sports is a um, retail and ski shop in the winter that supplies everything that you forgot at home, uh, new ski gear as well. You can rent your skis at Four Mountain Sports. Um, they are closed today. Um, however, I wanna point out that you can uh, set aside your skis in advance and your snowboards in advance. And then when you arrive or guests arrive, you just go downstairs and they do the fitting. You can also pick up your lift tickets there. So you do not have to walk anywhere to access all the equipment you need for skiing. This is our chairlift. This is called Assay Chair. And Shelly is pointing out Assay Hill. We do market the property as ski in, ski out. So once you have rented your equipment or you're using your own and you have your gear on, we have ski concierges waiting for you outdoors. They're there to assist with buckling you up and making sure your equipment is on correctly. And then they even help our guests just ski right down this hill to the bull wheel where the chair originates. So it really doesn't get any closer than this. This is a fantastic way to access the mountain. Now, I must point out that this chair does not take little ones to ski school. We'll cover that in just a few minutes in the base village. But here we have an outdoor fireplace um, where so many of our guests congregate um, and just enjoy the views and a cocktail or a hot beverage, watch their little ones. Um, enjoy the fireplace. This is Nest um, Restaurant, and Nest is operational year-round. If you haven't been to Colorado in the winter, you will be pleasantly surprised to find um, that we have some very, very warm, sunny days, so we're able to utilize this outdoor space year-round. Now, this is a new concept. This is the only ski in, ski out pool bar in ski country. So you can literally ski to the bar, have a cocktail, hot beverage, order lunch, and then when you're ready to hit the slopes, you just grab your gear and off you go down Assay Hill. So extremely um, accessible. Um, we also have hot tubs, swimming pools, and due to COVID, we have our restrictions, so a maximum of eight people at a time in the Infinity Hot Tub. Note, this hot tub will hold 21 people, so we've really trimmed that down due to restrictions. Um, same with the pool area. We only allow a few people at a time in the pool, and it is monitored. Um, you can also rent the cabana for your clients uh, for, you know, a half day, full day that is available. That would be booked through your concierge desk and families can have the cabana to themselves while they're at the pool area. 
and you can order food from the pool area, which is fantastic as well. Something I also want to point out with Nest is when the day is beautiful in the summer, we um, only serve lunch at Nest outdoors. So that means that Toro would not be open during lunchtime, but you can order lunch out here. And again, look at those views, look at the access to the chairlift. So if you have clients that are looking for that ultimate ski and ski out experience, we are a fabulous choice. Along those same lines, I want to let you know that Snowmass as a destination is all about families. We do families so well. We have a top children's ski school um, with regards to Viceroy Snowmass. We are an all residence property. Therefore, all of our lodging is conducive to not just couples, but families, mid-sized families, as well as large families. So keep that in mind. Shelly, myself, we are absolutely available to help with any questions and help you find the perfect room setup. Shelly, thank you so much. What a beautiful day in snow mass. Now we are going to move on to our spa. We have the only full service spa in Snowmass. And by the way, we are your only property in Snowmass that is Virtuoso, Signature, and Altour, and Inspirato. So we are your luxury choice in Snowmass. Um, this is the retail space. Um, the spa has uh, definitely had to change, as you can imagine, uh, some of their um, policies and procedures due to COVID, but it's going extremely well. Uh, we're running at 50% in the spa on any given day. It's a beautiful retail here. Um, on a personal note, I really have to stay out of the retail space because I love everything in there. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, and moving on into, here we go closer to, there we go, the corridor to the spa. And it looks like we're unable to go into the um, whole, um, the uh, resting area where you would wait for your treatment. I'm not sure if we have anybody in there, but it's a gorgeous sanctuary where you wait for your spa treatment. I'm happy to send photos uh, if anybody is interested in um, seeing the sanctuary, but when we have guests in the spa, as you can imagine and respect, we are not allowed to go past this area. But just know we have a full service spa. Thank you, Haynes. Now we are going to move over to John Quigley, a two bedroom residence. John? Pam, while we're waiting for John to get set up, uh, a question came in. Can winter activities like tubing, snowmobiling, ski lessons be booked right now? Um, right now, uh, not yet. We are still a month out from pricing. So um, by the, I would say, end of September, second week of October, we will have pricing from Aspen Snowmass um, activities, and then we can absolutely book everything. Um, anybody who's booked ski knows that, you know, the, the pricing structure doesn't come out till late fall. So very, very soon. What a great question. All right. And here we have John at a beautiful two bedroom residence. As I mentioned, we are set up perfectly for families. Um, we range from studio residences all the way up to super large four bedrooms. So keep that in mind. Um, what you probably saw on the door was a sticker. And this sticker is our uh, our way of communicating to the guest when they are um, at the, their residence that we have cleaned this, this unit, we have sterilized this unit and it is prepared and ready for them to enter. So kind of a neat concept and I, I feel that it really gives you good peace of mind when you see something like this, that the last person in this room was a housekeeping attendant. 
So welcome to our beautiful two bedroom residences. Our two bedroom residences have full kitchens and that alone is a huge plus for families. And it's not that families really cook all that much, but maybe they want to put a frozen pizza in, in the oven prior to dinner for the little ones. Everything is stocked with um, glassware, plates, pots and pans, and silverware. So everything is right there. There's no need for them to go out and buy it, rent it, whatever. Everything is supplied. Dishwashers, um, uh, full ovens, as well as stovetops, coffees, teas that we supply complimentary every morning. Um, also, this is kind of cool, the full, um, full size refrigerators. Now keep in mind, we can pre-stock uh, groceries for your clients. You would work through the concierge and we work through a company that purchases and we stock it and then we just bill your client on their folio. So let us know if that's something you're interested in because um, it's a wonderful service, especially when you've been traveling long and far walk into your unit and you have a food supply. So um, really a great um, amenity. Um, so this is the living room. The living rooms are spacious. Um, you have your another sofa sleeper if you choose to use it. Again, ideal for families. Fireplace, they are gas. Flat screen televisions in the living room and both bedrooms. And this particular unit has a gorgeous little patio. So you can step out and have those gorgeous views of snow mass and, um, you know, the mountain areas. You can watch the skiers from this room because the chairlift is right there. During summer and fall months, that road you see is a hiking trail. So it'll take you to so many different versions of um, snow mass hiking. So we like to say we're hiking, hike out as well in the summer. Works out fantastic. So back to the living room where you have a good sized table for six people. And um, you can contact Shelly and myself if you have any questions about minimum, maximum occupancies. But here we are walking into one of the bedrooms and um, we renovated our guest rooms last fall. So everything is, looks gorgeous. It is um, absolutely clean lines that you would expect from a Viceroy property, but with all of the gorgeous mountain touches. Um, here we have another great view of the mountain. Honestly, I don't think there's a bad view um, in our room. So um, we are really fortunate with our location. Um, here we have a, another uh, fireplace, which is so romantic in the bedrooms. I love these fireplaces. Another television for privacy. And then we are walking into the master bath. And so you have your walk-in shower. We do also have ADA rooms if, if any of your clients request that. Um, back to the kitchen area. And now John's going to walk us around a little bit into a second bedroom. So here we have the second bedroom. This is a little unique. This has two twin beds. So mom and dad have the king. The children have the twins. Ideal setup for a family. We also have king queen options. So if that is a preference, we can certainly accommodate. Again, with beautiful views of snow mass. Okay, moving on. Here we have another secret behind this, the washer and the dryer. So for anybody staying for any length of time, they can do their own wash. And we have found that for skiers in general, you know, you can put a load in in the morning, in the afternoon, you put it in the dryer and you have clean um, uh, long underwear or clean layers for the next day. So this is a really, really nice amenity. And we do supply uh, the pods for um, the soap. So that's kind of a nice touch for sure. 
And uh, the washer and dryers um, are in our two bedrooms and larger, just so you know for your records. Here we go, the coffee maker. We supply coffee, teas, creamers um, in a little um, coffee maker, which works actually fantastic. I was on property last week and it works great. And that, my friends, is the two bedroom residence. John, thank you so much. Thank you, Pam. Okay, now the grand finale, although I think the Viceroy Snowmass is the grand finale, but immediately across the street from us is the new base village. And we thought this would be a super fun um, uh, amenity to highlight for you today. A lot of you have heard about this. It opened uh, two a uh, year and a half ago in December, it was a $600 million project, and we feel that it has just enhanced the Viceroy experience. Again, the base village is located right across the street from the Viceroy, so super easy to walk to. Um, however, we do have what we call luges. They're extended golf carts, and for those guests who don't want to walk, they can take the luge over, so super easy. So Shelly is showing us um, um, this patch of grass, which is actually used as a family fun center during the summertime. So we set up volleyball, we have professional dancers doing uh, performances. You will always hear music in the village. Um, as well, in the winter, it is converted into an ice skating rink. So this gives you a nice idea of what is available in this new village. We have a really cool spot in the new base village and it is called the communal. The communal is a space where mom and dad can enjoy a beverage upstairs and then downstairs the kids can have at it in a arcade style um, facility. So that is something that's really fun for families who maybe want to take the day off from skiing or right after skiing, do something before dinner, that kind of thing. So really, really fun space. Now, what you see is um, brick walkways. And these are um, the main level in every building is retail and um, dining. So you have a lot of new options coming to Snowmass. We really believe that the, this new base village is exactly what we needed in Snowmass. It offers a lot more dining, shopping options, and it really complements the upper village where you have the same thing very, very well. So walking around the village, you'll see how quaint it is. Um, in the winter time, we also have a food truck stationed here, stationed there where you can grab a slice or a taco, um, just really fun. And um, here we have the gondola. I, I believe that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> and so um, the um, gondola is one of the main gondolas here in the um, Snowmass Village. This takes you all the way to the top of the mountain where you will uh, be able to engage in either more skiing or a facility called Lost Forest. Lost Forest is new to Snowmass and you can go tubing, you can go paintballing, uh, zip lining, and the coaster is up there as well. This facility is operational year round, which is really, really cool. But look how cute this village is. It has everything you could want. Um, you can browse. Here again is the, um, the gondola. So very, very accessible. Um, more shopping, more dining, and um, Shelly is going to walk us to the pickup point for our luges. Um, we have a, uh, a designated area where our luges at the Viceroy are able to pull up and drop off our guests, and as well, it's a pickup point. So uh, again, I can't not stress the convenience to this um, new base village from the property. Pam, we actually have a question that came in about the village. Can you charge back to the room from, from um, restaurants and um, stores in the village? Base no, village? 
Unfortunately, you cannot. Um, these are owned by two separate entities. Great question. Okay. Uh, next question is regarding um, kind of if you could talk about the beginner advanced breakdown on Snowmass Mountain for ski and snowboarding. You're always very knowledgeable about that. Absolutely. You know, an unkept, uh, uh, I guess, a secret that is not well known about Snowmass is Snowmass is as large as the other three Aspen Mountains all in one. So we are big, but don't let that scare you. What that means is we have naturally separated terrains. So beginners have their own area, intermediates their own, and much to everybody's surprise, we have a tremendous amount of um, black and double uh, black runs. So we really fit every single skier ability. Um, we are perfect for families because mom and dad can, can traverse over, ski with their kids, see what they're doing during the day at ski school, that kind of thing. So um, do not hesitate to book snow masks for families. It is absolutely ideal. And that's a great segue into this next part of the tour. Um, so here we have um, the area where ski school is actually located. And uh, we have a couple of different options. For the little ones that don't want to ski, we have kind of a daycare style um, facility. And so Treehouse is really cool. Um, inside this facility, there's actually a tree in the middle of the room where little ones can climb and there's little nooks and crannies for them to sit in. Um, just so fun and well designed. Then we have children's ski school right here. And so again, it doesn't get any easier. Remember, we have the luges to drop you off here in the village. So there's no walking if you care to not, you know, walk that uh, five minutes into the village. And then here we have um, another chairlift. We have a little chairlift and it's called Skittles and it's for the little ones. And this is where the little ones start their day as well as the magic carpet. I mean, gotta have a magic carpet, right? So this is where it all begins for our little guests. And it really is fantastic. These chairlifts are running in the summer. For those who don't want to walk up to the upper village, you can take the Skittle lift to the upper village and enjoy uh, browsing the upper village with shopping, dining, and um, in fact, Shelly and I took it last week and it was so much fun. It takes like five minutes to uh, take the little Skittle gondola up to the upper village. But again, here we have just beautiful, beautiful views. Um, lots of great access to skiing. I also want to point out, and I'm sure all of you know this, but I'll just reiterate how perfect a sport skiing is during these times. Remember, you have to cover up when you ski. You wear a helmet. You always wear a face mask or um, turtle fur over your mouth and nose to stay cozy. You're wearing goggles and gloves. So, you know, really skiing is uh, naturally conducive to social distancing. Now, with regards to this winter, um, we are still listening in and taking notes with regards to Aspen Snowmass and how all of this is going to work. But what we do know for sure is when it comes to skiing, families, just like our shuttle systems, families will be able to take the gondola up together. Anybody that is not part of that specific family or group will have to wait for the next gondola. So again, really focusing on social distancing. What we think is going to happen on top of the mountain where, where we are all used to, you know, grabbing a burger in a big restaurant or sitting down in a restaurant, that is going to change. That will be um, a more of a grab and go concept and we're really, really working on more outdoor tented space so that um, our guests feel comfortable eating on top of the mountain as well as uh, feeling like you know, we are adhering to COVID restrictions. So more to come on that. Uh, we will keep you updated through Bennett Mercado. Great. Um, we do have a question about the actual accommodations, if I could pop in. 
Absolutely. How many three bedroom penthouses are there? And could you go over the highest maybe be bedroom count to the lowest in penthouses? Yes. Um, three, three bedroom uh, units available. Um, I could be off by one or two. I'm sorry. Um, it just, you know, our inventory has been shifting through the summer. So I'm going to say three. But for example, the maximum occupancy in a three bedroom is eight people. Um, it could be 10 with little ones who would utilize the sofa sleeper, but actual bedding, eight people. Great question. Very good question. Um, is there, are there any other questions from everyone? These are very, very good questions already though. Yes, indeed. I don't think we have any questions that have come in live, Pam. Is there anything else that you can think of that we need to bring up? You know, I just kind of want to focus um, just for a couple of seconds on, um, you know, what is going on in the world uh, with regards to um, diversity. Um, Aspen Snowmass, as well as our company, has released statements based on, um, you know, uh, what, what is going on out there. And we just want everyone to know we are um, a very diverse company. Uh, and, and for example, most of our business in January comes from Latin America. We couldn't do it without them. We couldn't do it without you. And um, under no circumstances um, is either company tolerating anything other than accepting diversity. So I just really wanted to um, quickly address that so everybody knows. And um, it is all about, you know, our guest experience and our employees and keeping everybody safe. Very so, good. We did get a last minute question. Thank you, Pam, for that it was very, very well done. How long is ski season open to close dates? We open two days before Thanksgiving this year, and we will close, I want to say, around April 15th. Um, and that is a typical um, um, uh, ski calendar. So that is the plan. We are planning on opening just like we always do. Um, and as I mentioned on the front end, we ended up getting uh, about 15 inches of snow last week. So Farmer's Almanac says it's going to be a very snowy winter, fingers crossed. Any other questions? I don't know if we have any other questions that have come in. If we forgot anything, please let us know. Um, we really appreciate all of your time today. Pam, wonderful job. Thank you to you and your team for showing a live virtual site inspection of Viceroy Snowmass. And I know B and I personally want, would love to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, everyone, thank you for joining us today. Um, I will send you both um, Pam and Shelly's contact information as a follow-up so that you can ask even any, any questions you may have forgotten during um, our call today. Does anybody have anything else to add? Thank you so much, Pam and team. And again, to the advisors mm -hmm. listening, we're here for you for anything we can do to help you throughout the next few weeks, few months, as well as making sure that your clients have an excellent stay no matter where you book. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Have a great Thursday. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Thanks.